describing sets explicitly. A set is simply a collection of objects. These objects can be numbers, such as one, two, or three, letters, such as A, B, T, or X, shapes, such as triangle, square, or circle, animals, such as bear, dolphin, starfish, or toad, or just about anything else you can imagine. We will usually refer to the objects in a set as the members or elements of the set. If a set consists of a small number of elements, we can describe the set simply by listing the elements in the set inside curly braces, separating elements by commas. We call this method of describing a set the roster method. Let's look at some examples of sets described using the roster method. The set consisting of zebra hippopotamus is the set consisting of two elements, namely zebra and hippopotamus. The set of gargoyle, fly, teacher, motorcycle, chainsaw, hydrogen is the set consisting of six elements, gargoyle, fly, teacher, motorcycle, chainsaw, and hydrogen. The set of zero, one, two, three, four is the set consisting of five elements, zero, one, two, three, and four. The elements in this set happen to be numbers. Let's try an exercise. Determine how many elements are in each of the following sets and then list the elements in the set. Now's a good time to pause the video, try this exercise, and then resume the video to check your answers against mine. Okay, first one, set of PQRST has five elements, P, Q, R, S, and T. The set of centipede, pencil, artichoke has three elements, centipede, pencil, and artichoke. The set of 2.5, 7.01, 11.3, 19.65 .6 has four elements, 2.5, 7.01, 11.3, and 19.65. Set of blue, red, yellow, green, purple, orange has six elements, blue, red, yellow, green, purple, and orange. Set of Zeus, Hera, Andromeda, Hermes has four elements. Zeus, Hera, Andromeda, and Hermes. A set is determined by its elements and not the order in which the elements are presented. For example, the set with 20314 is the same as the set with 01234. Also, the set with 00122223 is the same as the set with zero, one, two, three, and four. If we are describing a set by listing its elements, the most natural way to do so is to list each element just once. We will usually name sets using capital letters, such as capital A, capital B, capital C, and so on. For example, we might write capital A equals the set of little a, b, c, and d. So capital A is the set consisting of the elements little a, little b, little c, and little d. Let's look at an example. Consider the sets capital X equals the set of lowercase x, y, capital Y equals the set of lowercase y, x, and capital Z equals the set of lowercase x, y, x, y, x. Do you see a relationship among these sets? Well, they all represent the same set. We can write capital X equals capital Y equals capital Z. Let's try another exercise. For each of the following, circle the set that is not equal to the others. Go ahead and pause the video, do the exercise, then resume the video and check your answers against mine. Okay, for the first one, 
the third set is different from the others. It has a one in it, the others do not. Also, it does not have a two in it. For the second one, the first set is different from the others. It has a B, the others do not. And for the third one, the second set is different from the others. The second set consists of letters, whereas the other sets consist of animals. We use the symbol, that's the Greek letter epsilon, to indicate membership. Specifically, X epsilon A means X is an element of A, whereas X epsilon with a line through it A means X is not an element of A. We will often simply say X is in A and X is not in A, respectively. Membership is an example of a relation. It describes a relationship between objects. Let's look at an example. Let D be the set consisting of X, K, nine, delta, and square. Then X is in D, K is in D, nine is in D, delta is in D, and square is in D. We can combine all this information into a single statement as follows. X, K, nine, delta, square is in D. Let's try one more exercise. Let Y equal the set of zero, five, 12, Z, T, eagle. Determine if each of the following is true or false. Go ahead and pause the video again, do the exercise, and then resume the video to check your answers with mine. Okay, five and Y is true. Five is an element of the set Y. Z not in Y is false because Z is in Y. Hawk in Y is false. Hawk is not an element of the set Y. Six is a member of Y is false. Little y is not an element of y is true. It's not. 12t in y, well, that's true if both 12 and t are in the set y, and in fact, they are, so it's true. 0, 5, 12 eagle in y, all of those elements are in y, so that is true. And finally, xzt in y is false because X is not in Y.